to Unmuted. We got your game any sports hot topics, hot tweets, and the spiciest memes. And we got a Camille on the Unmuted desk. Hello. Lisa. You know, I'm so excited to have you here because we actually have the reputation for being the most argumentative people yes. in the squad. Uh, the great debate of Boba 2019. <laughs> oh. A Tyler could account for that, and we don't want it to get that heated because no. then everyone leaves us in the office alone. Yeah. And then we uh, might not get out of here. We're just ever. Ever. Forever. It might here. get violent. Yeah, no. But that's what you guys want to see, isn't no. it? But we'll see if that happens. Um, we're going to present you all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and most likely argue. But luckily for all of us, there's a mute button where we can use once, only, only once, one time. to mute the other um, if it gets too heated. Oh, and it will. It will. Remember, we like it when you call <laughs> us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get right to it. Let's kick things off with a look at Evil 20. 2019 as the running order for the finals has been set. Big changes are afoot at EVO as Street Fighter V will not be the final game on the main stage for the first time in years. Instead, it will be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which replaced both Melee and Wii U at this year's event. In addition to Smash, Sunday will feature the finals for Blaze Blue, Street Fighter V, and Tekken 7, with the other main EVO games having their finals on Friday and Saturday. So Camille, do you think, first of all, Ultimate should get the final game at EVO? Um, of course, it's Duh. Ultimate. Uh, <laughs> it's just such a good game. And now with Melee not there, mm -hmm. I mean, bring the community together for what I think is the best Smash <gasps> In that's controversial. That's controversial because I know a lot of people say Melee I, is the OG. Like, but it unites people, um, and there's like everyone's there except for Waluigi, which no one cares about. Wow. So like I, I say, go for it. I mean, you can't keep having uh, Street Fighter there if the game's not even that great. Whoa, oh my, uh, no, it is. All the isn't. Street Fighter fans no, are crying. No, even the, you know the FGC, the Street Fighter pros know that Street Fighter Five isn't the best Street Fighter out there. So if it's getting lower numbers. Why? Why would it be the main event? But is this not just like a circle jerk for, I guess, Nintendo's Ultimate now? Like, we know it just came out. The money that they're putting into this game is yeah. probably a lot, so we know. And the pros itself, I feel like they like Melee, to be honest, more than they like Ultimate. So how is it that they get the main stage when the people say they want Melee? This doesn't sound right. <laughs> well, the, I'm calling corruption. The people are too Collusion. old and just need to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're too old. Get over it. We don't want to be playing on CRV TVs. Like, get, get some LC. D's in there like no honestly like you have to keep up with the times you want Evo to be fun you want it to reflect community as it is now not as it was don't be a has-been okay that's fair how yeah. about the other games though the other rundowns uh, you, you know they're it? okay they're okay like you know <laughs> it's whatever it's whatever honestly if a new Street Fighter game comes out that yeah. is like as good as four then we'll see Street Fighter come back on the main stage okay how about Tekken I feel like Tekken's pretty big now it's like continuously growing the scene it yeah. seems like yeah, a lot of people like Tekken. Um, You're not okay. <gasps> it's, it's, You're it's breaking okay. hearts here. I like Mortal Kombat, um, which, you know, is n the uh, not the positive opinion <laughs> that the FGC will probably want to hear. She but, tastes. <laughs> but I do have hipster taste, and I like the NRS, NRS community, although it is small, so... All right. Yeah, we'll That's see. Fair. We'll see. <laughs> Ubisoft is giving players a limited time event skin after it miscalculated the numbers required to unlock it. Originally, players were supposed to get 6 million headshots in the showdown event with the BOSG shotgun to unlock a rifle skin. Unfortunately, players across multiple consoles could not complete that requirement, with the closest being 2.2 million headshots on PC. As a result, Ubisoft apologized, and every R6 player who contributed to the event will get the skin. Lisa, hmm. do you think that this is a good move for Ubisoft? Oh, uh, 100%. Or is it a miscalculation? Oh, it's 100% a miscalculation, <laughs> but Ubisoft is so good at relations, honestly, yes. that they're willing to be like, listen, we messed up. We messed up huge. Yeah. Here's the free, here's the skin, basically, that you were supposed to earn by playing this thing. But honestly, I think they just didn't make the, no one won the reward because you weren't playing. You were so good at headshots I that if you played, I bet you she could have gotten it. No, I probably would. Like, <laughs> six million? No. That is insane. And the thing is, how is it that no one at Ubisoft saw this coming before, that this was a miscalculation? I mean, this takes place over the course of, I think, three or no, no, four no, no. days? No, it was actually 14 days. Oh, it's four? two weeks. It was two That's weeks. worse. How is it that they didn't <laughs> two do weeks, anything before that? And the highest that? score was 2.2 million headshots. <laughs> uh, did anybody test this at Ubisoft? Did they just be like, 
I like six million. Quality testing. Yeah. yeah. This is possible. I'm pretty sure, like, when the final results were coming out over the weekend, someone at Ubisoft was like, uh, I, I think we might have messed up, but it'll have to wait till we get into the office on Monday. I want to check in on that player they're that like did the, the pool. Yeah, they're, they're, the pool. Just they're just like, like oh, yeah. it's fine. No, I want to check in on that player that did 2.2 million. Are, is he or she okay? True. Is he sick or True. she sick? You know, you know, like that's a lot of headshots and a lot of time to do that. No, 100%. And we have to think like this is just headshots. Like this yeah. isn't just kills, guys. <laughs> do you understand to get 6 million headshots, you have to be playing 24 hours, like no sleep, to even play the amount of games possible to get that possibility. It's actually insane how Ubisoft messed that up yeah. that hard. Lisa, how many tries uh, has it taken you to get one headshot? Um, Camille, I'm going to be honest with you all. I haven't even passed the tutorial in Rainbow Six yet. I keep losing the damn mission every single time. The terrorists keep getting the best of me. So no headshots. You cannot let them get the best of you. I, you know what? If I had to save the world, you guys, it's over. Oh, all no. right. <laughs> Let's move on. Do you uh, think you know everything about the Overwatch League? Well, you're in luck as Blizzard is releasing a new platform called League Picks that will test your prediction skills. League Picks is a beta test that will let fans earn bonus OWL tokens if they correctly predict things like which team will win this map or who will deal the most damage. Guess correctly and you'll earn tokens that can be spent on team skins in Overwatch. Camille, do you think this is a great initiative for at least casual fans? Um, everyone loves to gamble, and this is pretty much gambling right? at its finest without actual money. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a really good uh, move uh, for Overwatch to actually introduce this because then they're getting more viewers in, mm -hmm. they're getting their viewers to be competitive oh, amongst yeah. each other, and I probably should stay away from this because <laughs> I may have a gambling problem. Do you actually? <laughs> have you ever played any fantasy before? Like, are you a fantasy player? Um, I'm not a fantasy player, but I am a, a pretty good roulette player. What? Roulette is all luck, Camille. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you can. I like what? to think it's my decision to land on, you know, uh, put my chips down on the numbers and like pick the I'm psychic yeah so. yeah so you will yeah. pick it for me if I play this league league picks you oh will help me yeah we could take team should on we? this we should okay. but do you think we'll win uh we'll let the chips fall where they may oh chat uh, let us know <laughs> if you think this is a good duo because I don't know it's like sometimes your the luck is in your favor but sometimes yeah, yeah. it is it's completely out of your control yeah. so I want to see if we actually see behind the scenes gambling with this like, would would fans actually sign up with other fans to be like, yo, do you want to do a, a backdoor deal where we actually gamble money? You know what? That's the thing, though. That's actually a really good point because it does seem like a gateway to gambling, like actual gambling. Yeah. And we know in video games, loot boxes has been a huge debate, right? Yeah. And so the fact that they're introducing this, there's going to be some sort of, I guess, you know, criticism the We're, fact that it's leading to gambling I 100% yeah. the moment I read the story I was like ooh this is literally the step right before gambling yeah. I want to see their marketing because they're probably gonna have those ads like bet responsibly <laughs> yeah yeah because we listen to those ads <laughs> yes if we read those ads you have to like you said it's a gateway and we have some young kids I wonder how yeah. old actually they'll have to be that's a good point to do this that's because that is it is gambling yeah, it's gambling. You know, honestly, Overwatch, for Overwatch, this is a great move because I think the biggest struggle for the league is having people actually yes. watch it. We know the game is great fun, but when it comes to competitive yeah. side, it's really hard to follow and watch. But now, if you want skins and you don't want to spend money, you can actually just watch and predict. And honestly, you don't really have to, like, study. Just It could be random. Just yeah. pick a random team, and if you win, you win. Like, yeah. it's I'm that pretty, easy. I'm pretty sure, though, I still won't be playing. I'll just you choose the app. All right. For our last story, a prominent Fortnite player has been accused of cheating again. A video surfaced of, on Twitter showing XIF killing someone who was dancing in place during the trio's cash cup. Some say that this is another instance of cheating, but the dancing player's teammates say it was just a harmless mistake. XIF was suspended from Fortnite for two weeks earlier this year after cheating in the World Cup qualifiers. Mm. Lisa! This doesn't look good for him. And yeah. I, I'm just wondering, do you think that they're just getting on X, XF's case? Or is this actually possibly cheating? No, uh, no, 100%. This is just 
a, as an example of you know someone who did the crime in the past, yeah. they will always have that profile, yes. right? Because when you actually watch the clip and with the explanations of all the other players, like there's no reason for them to step out and say, you know what, he actually wasn't cheating. Like, this is the situation. They stuck their neck out for this guy, and it's not a completely unreasonable reason. Yeah. Like the reason they said was that, like honestly, his teammates were already dead. He was already like gone. He felt like he was already lost. Like he lost the game. Yeah. So at that point, he was just BMing. And you know, we've all been there. I've been there when I know I can't escape. You know, people are chasing me down, and I know I'm not going to get out of it. I just freeze there and I don't do anything. Just give up the kill. So like, I don't see it as completely unreasonable for that to happen. Yeah. And I just feel kind of bad for Exif. Now that he's done the crime, he's done the time. He's done the but, crime more than once, though. But he's done the time! And, and he's done the time, but maybe once a cheater, always Ooh. a cheater. I'm not saying he did in this instance, but I am saying that I did my research. Okay. And I talked to our FPS pro, Zurich, <laughs> and I asked him how common is it in Fortnite tournaments for players just to kind of forfeit it. Yeah. And he says when they're mid-tier, mm -hmm. you really don't want to chance it because you only have a certain amount of matches to rack up points. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't really make sense for this instance for them to throw it. So maybe oh. conspiracy? I don't know. Like, it's kind of like maybe they're in on it. And that's what some of the fans are saying, that they wouldn't be surprised if they were in on it. And I... I may take that side too. What? Are we not jumping to the gun here? It's one Look, incident at the moment. Let's <sighs> wait for more proof. Let's not witch hunt like we always do on the internet nowadays. And, and I did my research and I talked to Zurich. And if he says once a cheater, no, he didn't okay. say that. He didn't okay. say that. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. If Zurich say that. says it, then it must be fact. Like, I can't argue that. <laughs> yes. All right. We'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's time to check in with streamers in Clip It. We always appreciate when streamers reach beyond their gaming roots and show us their other talents. Greek gives us a little taste of his magic ability. Wait a tweet. Wait a second, dude. Pokimane just landed in London. Yo, where is his cape? He is Batman. Uh, wow, I am so impressed with that. That is great, except that was kind of creepy at the same time. Wait, what? Listen, listen, if you look at the clip, it started off with being like, yo, Pokimane just got in town. I must <laughs> go find her now. Like, how is that not creepy, guys? We're missing the main point here. Oh, so we should be focusing on the fact that he may be a low-key stalker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, let's uh, focus on the real thing here, but still, really cool smoke show. But, <laughs> but you know what? If you look at, because uh, I would think that's how like every superhero, especially Batman, disappears yeah. at the end of his entrances, right? So like, I would think actually every superhero is a stalker, so really Greek is what? just a superhero. That is the most illogical thing ever, but that did put the image in my head of Batman just sitting there vaping. Like, <laughs> Is that what he does in the Batcave? Just smoking it up? He needs to unwind somehow, right, Camille? All right, let's move on. Our next clip gives us a new perspective on Bambi, courtesy of Jay Streezy. We didn't see any actual babies, but this one is a baby baby. <laughs> I would like to get closer. Do you think it's possible? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, see Bambi's mom was a jerk this whole time. No! Oh my god, wow. no, Lisa. Okay. Was that streamer a Disney princess? No. <laughs> Why are you going up <laughs> to Mother Nature's True. children acting True. like you belong when you're not a Disney princess? He didn't approach singing. No, you have to. <laughs> oh, I, oh, 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 like, that's, that's how you get animals <laughs> yeah, you to be friendly. It. Exactly. But no, leave the animals alone in their natural habitat. That's true. Is it crazy that even when the, the mom was like attacking, I still wanted to hug it? Like it was still so pretty. It was so cute. Oh my god. It was so adorable. While he's like bleeding on the floor. Yeah, but like, I had no <laughs> horns. What really damage can it do, right? Okay, well, yeah. Okay, we'll just leave Bambi's mom out of this. Oh. All right. It's truly the best time of the day when we stroll through the Twitter first to bring you all the things pros bless us with from their timeline. The first one comes from COD Connotator. Clint Evans, who wrote, I opened the wrong side of the crushed red peppers. God damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> that happens to the worst. I mean, all of us. The best Lisa, of us. Lisa, I know you've done this before. Uh, yes. 
Yes, I am. No, are you? Are you telling me you've never done that before? It's an amateur mistake. Are you kidding me? No, I've done this before. <laughs> I've done this before. But it was with um, balsamic so vinegar. Oh, that's because I like putting balsamic vinegar on um, my pizza slices. And Wait, what? Is that normal? Yeah. I've never heard anyone do that. Wait, what? Camille. Is that not normal? Camille with the weird food what? taste is, yet again. Is Classic. that not normal? Uh, I don't think so. Anybody, do you guys do that? Can yeah. We get, can we get Oh a, my God. I've got, this just in. <laughs> Facts have said, uh, the stats have said it's not normal. Um, Camille. Oh no. You're an odd one. Who puts vinegar on their pizza? Balsamic vinegar, okay? Don't, don't muddy it up, okay? Ca Balsamic Camille with the bad food taste again. Let's move Whoa. on. Continuing with the food theme, oh no. Our next tweet comes from Cod Pro Kenny. Somebody's food just came in a whole spacecraft. Uh, what in the hell is this? Oh my God. <laughs> I actually retweeted this tweet with the caption, this is how they serve meals at Area 51. Yo, Yo! honestly though, like I, I looked up this restaurant. Oh, research, okay. Because uh, Kenny was actually posting a whole thread of all the food that was coming out of this restaurant and it's kind of pricey. I don't have that Cod Pro money. There is something on the dessert menu where uh -huh. it's a four foot tall cinnamon sugar cone. It's $250. For vanilla ice cream. Sounds worth it. I can't do that. And it's like, why would you pay that much for something like that where these glorified dishes when you could just go to Area 51 and get <laughs> some food from yeah, aliens it's that easy. in a spaceship? Come on. Uh, how many calories do you think that dessert would have been? Yo, Yo, I don't even want to know because I don't even know how to count calories. Oh. Let's be real. <laughs> True, Miss Balsamic Vinegar on her pizza. Okay, she's the last person to be worrying about right. calories. Uh, All right. <laughs> Our last tweet comes from Smash Pro Levin, who shared his new Patreon tiers. For $1,000 a month, you can get the controller crust cowboy reward that will have him send you his controller crust every Christmas, but melee crust is a little extra. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. But you know what, when I'm thinking of it, and like gaming, there's a lot of crust that comes off our controllers. I mean, that could be worth something. Camille! <laughs> I actually almost threw up. Like, I'm actually not even kidding. The word crust itself is already like rough, but the moment you think of controller crust, it's like, how disgusting. Well, you're, you're saying it wrong. You gotta say it's sexy. Controller, controller crust. Controller crust. <laughs> vomiting, vomiting, no, never. That's disgusting. I will, I'm gonna report his Twitch. Oh my gosh. Lisa, what would be your top tier Patreon reward? I can write, sing you a song. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? that's a sweet one. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> no, one, no, one, no one wants to hear that. Empty pictures. Okay, let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making. Here's a crossover we never knew we needed. This is SpongeBob as Overwatch characters. <laughs> okay, so you can see there we got McCree, we got Bastion, Roadhog, Widowmaker, Tracer, Lucio, Farah, Torbjorn, and Mercy. Look oh. at that. You know what? I really love the Tracer, the little wings yeah, on the, the angel ears. SpongeBob. And I think that just really proves SpongeBob makes everything better. better. Were you a huge SpongeBob fan? I was, but I was probably way too old to be watching. She's like a full grown adult Sponge. just watching SpongeBob, I'm drinking yeah. some milk after school. No, Wait. seriously, <laughs> like I think it's such an underrated show that if there was a crossover with OWL, maybe that's when I would start watching. Oh, really? OWL. Yeah, honestly, I love SpongeBob. That's a cool crossover, like legit yeah. crossover. I, sure. I would. Camille, I see you have to show people your impression. Oh, we talked about this before, her SpongeBob impression. Oh, so no. I do. Patrick? I do do a SpongeBob. But she I, does SpongeBob, you got you got to pay for that one. So I'll do Patrick. <laughs> on <my> Patreon. <laughs> yeah, on my Patreon. It's on my Patreon. Um, right, okay. Oh, SpongeBob. Okay. Oh. Anyways. Um, no. Um, guys. Should I do it, guys? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Let's move on because I want to share something really personal with you. The next clip really and truly is my fantasy. I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate video games because this is what it does. It appeals to like the male fantasy.
深夜12時半過ぎた時には僕の愛しい24時間死んでるな It's just beautiful. Damn, Camille! Damn, <laughs> I didn't know that was going to be your fantasy. I was surprised there.、Um, but what about your boy Claude?、Um, okay, Claude. You were just melting over him the other day. Do you guys. Claude from Fire Emblem, we don't have to go there. We don't have to bring him、You're、into this. Because he's like an archer, okay? He's gorgeous for other reasons. He just like, looks good when he poses. But this in Yakuza,、mm-hmm. you know how hard it is to backflip on <laughs> skates? That's true. Means very difficult, which means his abs are hard like rock. You are. I just, the thirst here is real. Like, I am actually. It's getting moist. I can't. <laughs> Use the word moist. Yeah, I'm sorry. Better than crust. Crust. Moist. Okay, anyways. Oh,、uh, for our last pose, we have some heartbreaking news. Iconic character and beloved sidekick Pikachu has been officially abandoned by that nasty Ash Ketchum. But it's okay because Pikachu d o n t need no trainer, he's an independent Pokemon. Pikachu <laughs> got a job at the local mart handing out bags to customers for minimum wage, but at least he won't have to fight battles anymore.、Um, Pikachu also let himself go. <laughs> hey, it's been tough.、What? It's been tough, okay? No, it's been a tough time. It's, it's a tough time, but at least he knows that he doesn't need Ash anymore. Because, I mean, Ash didn't even become a gym master, so, like, why even <laughs> stick with him? Wow. I'm telling you, Ash is overrated. That's a controversial topic, guys.、Uh, let us know in chat if you agree. <laughs> But I think, honestly, Pikachu has been next to him for so long. He was really only holding him back.、Um, it's sad that he has to start off here. But you know, at least he's not working the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we may see those、not、boots、that. come out. Oh, God. You、Pikachu、never know. It may get too tough. Boots. I don't want to imagine it. So let's wrap it up. That's it for Unmuted. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials at Squad State just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Until next time, we'll see ya.